moment or torque what is that so in this position i'm holding say 10 pounds load here in my hand and then my shoulder the amount of load that's going to be transferred in my shoulder um, in each of these positions so as you can tell in this um, say this is my number one position number two and number three position now here in number one it's very close to my shoulder so my shoulder will feel almost nothing you can um, you can check this by yourself doing this same experiment when i look have this 10 pound load around my elbow i feel a little bit more in my shoulder now in this position it's really intense the amount of load i feel in my shoulder is a lot and in fact this 10 pound i won't be able to hold for a long time so even though these are all same 10 pounds however in my shoulder joint there is something else going on because of this exact same 10 pounds so the distance that the more farther away from that joint um, i feel a lot more load here in my shoulder so what i'm actually feeling in my shoulder is the force in my hand in this distance so it's the multiple application of force times distance so moment what i'm feeling in my shoulder is actually force times distance whatever i'm carrying and this is the piece is called moment or torque depending on the situation you have seen many applications like this one of these is anytime you are doing some kind of rotational movement you're actually applying moment or torquing something using a screwdriver or a range um, you know anytime something rotating now if you look at this motorcycle this is my motorcycle so all the ground forces coming the you know the roughness coming uh, through this wheel is going to go into the seat and transfer it to my body so it's not how much force is coming from the ground it also how far it is from where you are measuring that and there are a ton of examples like this look at this crane here depending on how extended this crane arm is and what's the angle to this crane arm that will cause a different thing here these are all this crane bar is trying to pull something out of the water so as you can see it's probably here where this bar is trying to kind of torque or moment apply some moment to pull this thing up so there are i think a lot more example if you look at these cars it has four different wheels the the ground reaction is coming through these wheels but then the amount transfer at different points of the body or seat and everything it, it has to do with the moment the distance and things like that um, so it is actually a lot more application this is a hydraulic jack again um, you're trying to use this to lift a car or something like that uh, this is my office door and a lot of time a student can close the door when they uh, go done with meeting with me they try to pull this in this direction instead of going exactly to the uh, 90 degrees so they pull this way so they're not really and then the door seems really really heavy there's a small magnet that is holding this door to the wall it takes very little force if you apply in one direction so the direction you apply the force the distance um, so all of these you know associated with the moment so basically anytime you're doing some kind of rotation um, you are doing some moment or torque and it is the uh, the mathematical expression for that is the force times the distance and in the next couple of videos i'll give you some tips how to calculate that in different scenarios